Okay, thinking out loud, Ed Sheeran. This one's in the key of D, and it's in standard tuning, the uh, studio version standard tuning. This is, what I'm doing here is kind of based off of a live version that I've seen him do on YouTube, um, with just his acoustic guitar, because of course, on the, uh, the album version, he's playing electric. He's playing a little bit different than he does live. And also, sometimes um, you'll see him live, and in fact, this video that I was, um, kind of copying this from was uh, is down a I think it's down a, a half a half tone so it's in D flat and other times he'll he'll go right down into C drop everything down a tone and play it down there right but just to keep things simple I've kept it in standard tuning here okay it's a fairly simple song in theory because there's only really four or five chords I guess six with that B minor but there's a lot to what's going on with his right hand here. There's a bunch of little things he's doing. Um, and in essence, what's happening is, you know, he plays live just solo. So he's playing like the bass line, the chords, and he's slapping that uh, like a snare drum on the two and four. So he's pretty busy playing the song. And then, of course, he sings it too. So, uh, you know, he's a very talented guy in cheering, and he's a really good guitar player. And like a lot of guys who are good at what they do, he just makes it look really easy. But if you try and play this song, there's a lot more to it. Okay, anyways, let's get on with it. So the first chord is a D, and I'll just run through the chord. So you've got a D, and we don't really play that, uh, that um, E2 on there. Okay, just mostly those two, right? The D string, the G string, and the B string. So we've got a D chord, and then we've got this chord here, which is a D over F sharp bass. So you just, it's just those two, you're just replacing that finger with this finger, putting your first finger over here on E2 to get that F sharp note. Okay, so D, D over F sharp, and then you've got a G, and you can do that by just putting your middle finger here on E3, keeping your third finger there on B3. And you don't need to, to do that or that, right? Because you're not going to play them. Okay, and then you've got an A, and that's basically the sequence for the verse and the chorus, 
right? That's it. And then later on, we've got an E minor, okay? Just that one, A2, D2. Then we've got an A7, just here and here, right? D again, and B minor, the bar chord B minor. And sometimes he'll play a B minor 7 with a, just take your little finger off. Okay, but I think it sounds better with the B minor. And then back to E minor and A minor or A7. Okay, so those are your basic chords. And then you of course you've got that you know that's a real that really quick chord sequence, but we'll go over that in detail later. Okay, so those are the chords, and like I said, he's playing bass chords and drums basically all at the same time okay and you know depending on what level you're at um, my tutorials tend to go for a little more like well I don't know just guys that have been playing longer but you could just play this simply by you know just by doing that right just by plucking those those chords those four chords and it'll probably come out okay. But I'm gonna try and show you exactly what he's doing in this live version of his, okay? So, the first chord, we're gonna hit open D, G2, B3. So, the G string with our first finger, B string with our second finger. And then the next chord, the D over F sharp bass, we're gonna hit the um, E2 with our thumb, and then the D string with our first finger, G string with our second finger, B string with our third finger. So that's a three finger chord and the thumb, right? So the first one's two fingers. Okay, that's three fingers. And then we go to the G, same fingering exactly with the right hand, right? And then we got A, three fingers again. You could get away with two. Uh, you don't really need that third in there, the B string, but I think it sounds better with it in there, right? Okay, so, so far we've got Now, what's happening is he's playing a bass line in there. What I'll do now is I'll, I'll show you the bass line that he's playing, but I'll, I won't strum the chords, but I'll shape the chords, okay? So he's going. Okay, so that's the bass line that he's playing and then he's playing the chords too. Put those together, you get this. Okay, so now you've got the bass and the chords, right? And that's pretty tricky to get that right. But then he's slapping the strings for the on the two and four to be the drum, right? The snare drum, so you get this. Now that adds another element, right? But then there's another element in the verses, and that, that's these hammer-ons, okay? So... Okay, so there's those hammer-ons where he's going... He's hammering on that G4 from G2. Okay, so it's... Um, do it slow. What's happening there after that G, you're hitting the A and then he's slapping that A string and at the same time he's he's ha hammering on this uh, B note on G4 but he's actually flicking his finger so he's going right so you've got a, a thumb hitting the bass strings to get the slap and the fingers well the finger in my case is hitting that hammering on that B note okay so the 
this will be the part that'll give you the most trouble, I guarantee it. So we've got to hammer that on, and then right away we've got to hit this in the bass, which is the E note on D2. Right? So G. That's the sequence, right? It's like that open A, and then hammer. That's what the thumb does, right? So. Okay, and then in between that, we've got that hammer. So really slowly. And that's what happens in the verses. Now, in the pre-chorus, um, he stops those hammer-ons, so he's just going to go like this. And also, when he gets to this D over F sharp, he's going to actually, instead of going down with the thumb, he's going to actually hit the strings, you know, mute them, and just just stroke them with the finger, right? So it's more like this. Like the, the D chord, it's very hard to get that and mute everything okay to do that because then you've got to go from a muted position to getting this chord and like watch my my left hand here there's a really you got to be really quick in that right so what he'll do and you'll notice this if you watch the video is he'll he'll thumb that one right so the D chord is always right like that the F sharp or the D over F sharp, he's going to do this, okay? See, I, I missed the string and I hit the wood, which really doesn't matter, but... Okay, so that strumming comes in in the uh, after the verse, when he's sort of in that pre-chorus part, okay? So it's the same chords, right? Just different approaches with the strumming. Okay, so then we go down to the E minor part, and um, same thing there. We're gonna play the bass line. As we're doing the chords and, and hitting, you know, I, we can either do that or do the thumb thing, right? Okay, so coming out of this, So I'll just play the bass line there. The bass line is going to be... Okay, and the fingers are going to be on the E minor, it'll be um, the first finger on the D string, second finger the G, third finger on the B. And then we got A7, fingering the same in the right hand here. And then we've got the D, okay? And we just move our fingers down one string. Okay, so we've got thumb on the D, first finger G, second finger B, third finger E. So, so far we've got... Okay, and you can either, you know, do that or you can, you can do the thumb thing. It really doesn't matter. If you can get that, it's a little bit more intense. And sometimes when he's supposed to be muting, he actually doesn't mute, so he'll go... So it's kind of, you know, you can kind of do whatever you want there. But the idea is to, to keep that drum going, right? And when I'm muting, I'm just, you know, laying my fingers across there and hitting the dead strings, right? Okay, so the second time through, we go up to the B minor. 
right? And end it off by going E minor. And he kind of kind of comes out of that rhythmic thing and just hammers the strings there, okay? So let's do that whole part from the E minor. Okay, and then we're into the chorus. Now the chorus will eventually end with this. Okay, and what that is, it's your B minor, and we're gonna get, you know, the thumb on the A string, first finger D, second finger G, third finger a B. So we get B minor, and then we've got A. Okay, same fingering on the right hand there. Then G. And that's just a G, just there. Okay, we don't need any of those others. We don't need that, that, or that. So, just there, so. And then we've got the uh, D over F sharp bass that he normally plays like this, okay? So, like that. But what I do is I change the fingers there because to go from the G to that is quite a bit of movement. So what I do is I just go from there and I slide that finger down one fret, put my third finger on G2 and my little finger on B3. So, right, so you've got, which is really easy to get to. And then we've got E minor 7 and I do it that way, although sometimes I think he's just doing it standard way like that and then a7 and then D and try not to hit the E string there okay so like that there there and here or here right depending whether you want that note in there or not I in the demo I did that because I, I thought it sounded closer real slow like in that in that E minor 7 I'm I'm fretting this this uh, B2 or A2 the B note but I'm actually not playing it so you actually don't even need to have it there I just have it there out of habit right A7 D or you could do it with the E minor 7 with the open B instead of B3. So like this. And then the only other thing is he does a, a little accent there on that D chord. And he hammers on that um, uh, E3, the suspended. And at the same time, he's slapping the thumb again, right? So... back into the into the regular sequence okay and that's pretty well all there is to that part um, and then the, the only other part we've got is um, towards the end where he just kind of winds it open and uh, like he's doing this where he's kind of sort of singing like scatting away there opens it up on that G, okay? So what he's just gonna strum it, start strumming it wide open, and then the next chord will be a new chord. Well, it's not really new, but in this position it is. Instead of just the A, he does an A suspended. Okay, so that's just the open A, and a D2, open G, and B3, and open E. Okay, 
and then he goes through the sequence just strumming like strum it whatever way you want you know I just kind of get that going like like playing drums on the strings basically right so from here okay and that goes through till he's finished his singing and then he's going to end it up like this look that you already know and like I said you know you can do the E minor 7 like that or just open and he does it three times and what happens is he kind of he hits that B minor with his finger and then gets back to the picking right hits that D with the finger just to accent it B minor again That's it. That's the last chord of the song, right? And this song is, uh, you know, like you can really tell there's a lot of Van Morrison in this song. Plus there's a uh, John Mayer song, uh, Waiting for the World to Change. Right? And there's People Get Ready. So there's a lot of songs that use that that boom, 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 that kind of feel, right? And okay, so it's right. It's kind of you know he's been influenced there, which is great, you know. I'm not really into this. Uh, oh, he stole that, whatever. There's only so many chords, right? And if you've got the talent to write melodies and chord progressions and lyrics and match them all up till you know it moves somebody i don't really care what it, if it sounds like some other song it doesn't matter to me right it's um, it make it's a great song regardless anyways so that's it great song and uh hopefully this will help you um, get through it and like if you're playing it like he's playing it, like i've showed you in this video then it's uh it's kind of advanced playing right but like i said you can Simplified, if you want, right? Rather than going, you know, so you can take out of this video, you know, what you want, what you can use, and uh, hope you enjoy playing this song. Hope you get something out of the video, and we'll talk to you next time.